tutorial. This time we're going to be using our skeleton that I stained uh, the other day with the uh, Cognac Color Rust-Oleum uh, stain from Walmart. We did one a couple days ago. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, definitely check out the YouTube channel and look at it from start to finish. That one was pretty basic with just uh, plastic wrap and a uh, heat gun. This one we're gonna go into a little bit more detail um, with the rib cage and the jaw. And we're gonna talk about some of that stuff and do this one a little bit different. So let me show you a little bit more of the uh, material you're gonna need. And then uh, we'll start uh, laying on the creepy cloth and uh, we're gonna use surgical gauze because it's pretty much like a, a miniature version. You could pretty much get this stuff anywhere. But uh, we're gonna cut this up into strips. We're gonna use the latex caulking and we're gonna brush it onto the, the actual skull and give it more texture and give it that creepy look around the rib cage and just places here and there. And then we're gonna go over it with the, uh, the shrink wrap and uh, do the whole corpsing process all over again, but we're just gonna show a couple different methods on how to use this. So let's get set up and I'll show you what we got, uh, what we're working with today. So we got all the materials kind of set up right here. Um, I think we're missing a couple of things, but uh, basically we're gonna use uh, cotton balls, spray adhesive, uh, different types of stain, spray paint. We got creepy cloth. We got medical gauze. Somebody had given me a bunch of that. Um, latex nitro gloves. I got those at the grocery store actually for 10 bucks, which is a deal because they're 30 bucks at uh, auto parts stores. Um, got some cotton ball set up here. I got some wig hair. We got our brushes soaking. We got our heat gun set up. And we got our skeleton that is ready to go. Now the next thing I need to find is where I put the caulking. I bought some brown caulking and we're going to mix that in here with a little bit of water just to thin it out. And then we're going to brush that onto the gauze and that's going to help apply that. On this skeleton I went ahead and disconnected the jaw, um, cut off the little, the little tit that goes in there, ground it down flat and then I put a drywall screw right here and then uh, put a little hot glue and black spray paint to kind of camouflage that. So we're going to go over that. We're going to go over this side. We're going to do a little bit on the rib cage and uh, maybe a little bit on the arms and stuff. Not too much because we're going to go over it with shrink wrap. So let's get you set up and then uh, we'll show how to mix up this uh, caulking and water mixture. All right, we got you all, uh, got all the stuff we need here. Another thing I was gonna talk about are these little googly eyes you could buy at pretty much uh, anywhere right now. They're the squishy, they stick to pretty much anything. You throw them at the wall and they stick. What I do is I just squeeze them real good and I pop those little bulbs or the, the eyeballs out of there. And this is what you come up with. You come up with these little plastic deals. And I take a little bit of uh, acetone and rub off the uh, the paint on them and what I'm gonna do is these are gonna get set inside of here with a uh, probably a little bit of hot glue and then I'm gonna just paint over them black and then we're gonna dot out the insides to give it a little bit more detail so that's one more thing we're gonna do on this one it's gonna be a little bit more detailed than the uh, when we did the other day. And this is the guy right here. He's all dry, ready to go. And then uh, this guy, he's getting picked up today. And then the guy's gonna drop me off one more to do. So let's get this, uh, let's get this party started. We're gonna show you uh, pretty much how to make a little batter. <coughs> So 
got me a bottle of water here. I've already popped the top on this this cocky. I'm using a uh, it's a cedar tan. It's a latex. Um, it's for exterior. And I'm just gonna pump this whole thing in here. I really I'm not gonna have any use for it after. And then when I get done, I'll just put a lid on it. So that was a whole tube. That was three bucks right there. In the trash. What I like to do is add a little teeny tiny bit of water. You don't want to add too much because it a little bit goes a long way for my stir stick. My trusty stir stick. It's already got latex all over it. Now I'm gonna take this caulking. I'm gonna mix it like I'm making chocolate milk. The reason I got the brown, the tan uh, caulking is because it's gonna kind of match a little bit more with the, uh, the 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 color on the the skeleton right now. So you just wanna mix this up real good, thin it out. Cause it's just so thick you can't really work with it. So yeah, that's about the consistency you want. It's uh, almost looks like pudding. Makes me want pudding. So what I'll probably do is find a little piece of cardboard to mix this uh, with the uh, gauze. So that's about what we want. I'll just throw that in this little tub. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna find a section here. I'm just gonna cut this piece in half. Kind of measure what your area you're gonna do, where you're gonna stretch it out. And that's just kind of build that up a little bit. And uh, when we shrink wrap it, it's gonna adhere to that. After this dries, we'll throw a little stain on it. And then we'll throw a little bit on this side too. Build this side up. Let me find something to mix on. Noise alert. And my last video showed like different types of paint brushes. This one's obviously seen better days. It has been stained and cleaned and stained and cleaned. And uh, so this one's gonna get donated to this. And then afterwards, it's probably gonna go in the trash because it's gonna get pretty nasty. So I'm just gonna dip this in. Now you can go buy liquid latex on Amazon. Um, it's like $16 for, I want to say like a pint. It's not the same as this. That stuff is made for flexible latex uh, masks. This is more for, for working on your house. So we got this. We're going to go ahead and just apply that to wherever it's going to be. You just kind of mash it in. I don't want to cover the teeth or anything, but this is going to make it really durable whenever we apply the, the shrink wrap. So we're going to do that. Stick this guy on there. And just brush that on. I always keep a lot of these two by sixes laying around. These little sections I make motion sensors that screw onto these, the, the cheap motion sensors you buy at the hardware store for about 
I don't know, I think they're 12 bucks. They come in white or black. So most of the time it's, they're all out of the uh, black ones, so I'll buy white ones. And where the sockets go for the bulbs, I unscrew those. And then inside I'll run a uh, the female side to a plug. And then the power that's going in will be able to plug into an outlet and that sensor will be mounted on a piece of wood and you'll be able to control your props with that little motion sensor. We'll get into that on a later day today. It was just doing, trying to get this guy done up, get him a little bit more creepy. But we're gonna get into uh, fog machines. We're gonna get into lighting. Uh, we're gonna get into motion activated props, um, animatronics, real, real basic animatronics that you can do with uh, 12 volt power supplies um, off of Amazon and uh, windshield wiper motors that you can pretty much get anywhere. You can get them at auto parts stores, junkyards, you know, wherever you could find them. So yeah, one piece, it stretches out pretty far. Take that, cut that in half. It's already getting sticky. So this piece is a little different shape, the way I cut it. So we go ahead and lay this one out. Give it a good coating with that, that caulking. And then after I do this, I'm gonna throw the heat gun on it and it's gonna help it, uh, it's gonna help it dry really fast and then we can go and do the stain right after, or the, uh, we'll add a little stain and then we're gonna go back with the, uh, the shrink wrap, uh, painter's plastic. So right here, I'm just gonna add a little bit on the ribs. Just lay it on there. <laughs> You just kind of fold it over so it has something to grab on. You got these little strings hanging down. Just kind of pull those off, get them out of the way. And that's gonna stick on there real good. So it took that other one almost three days to to be complete. It's more just about the drying time. It's uh, It takes a while, that stain that I used, the uh, polyurethane uh, stain, which I mixed up in, in here, it took a lot longer to dry than I was anticipating. The one that I mixed in with it, uh, it's just super, super, runny and clear so it did take a lot longer than i anticipated but that one's done now it just needs to dry so i'm gonna find a new place to lay this one it don't have to be perfect it just has to stick. I'm gonna give that a little, little dabby dab dab there. I feel like Bob Ross painting happy, happy trees. And just do it on the edges where it's gonna really be important that it sticks. This is almost so close to this color. I 
All right, so you guys get the gist of that. I'm gonna do a couple of little pieces and then uh, we'll let that set up with the heat gun and we'll start something new. All right, I went ahead and uh, hit that with the heat gun and got that dry. Kind of dusted it over with a little of the uh, flat black paint. Give it more, uh, more of a darker stain. It kind of blends in more with the, with the skull now. And then I will set you guys back up and we will start with the spray glue and plastic wrap and we're gonna start from the the feet and we're just going to keep working our way up so we're going to do a time lapse on that it takes me about five minutes you guys will see it in about 20 seconds so we're just going to be using the uh, gorilla glue and the uh, plastic wrap which i have already set up in here out of the way and i'll just come in here and grab pieces when I need it. I got the bigger pieces right there for the uh, rib cage and then these will work on the legs and, and the arms and skull. So I'll just grab a couple of these, have those ready to go. So I'll probably have to cut these pieces in half because they're really long. They're 12 foot long so I'll cut them down to six foot. So I do about six foot here, six foot here, six foot there, six foot there. Probably use uh, eight or 10 feet here, another eight or 10 feet here. I got a couple little scrap pieces laying over there in the chair that I didn't use yesterday. So we'll do a time lapse and we'll get that knocked out. And then uh, after the shrink wrap, we'll go to heat, the heat gun. And then after that, we will go to stain. After stain, we'll probably go to paint. After that, we'll start adhering some hair and cotton balls with the spray glue and uh, more stain more paint more love detail the teeth we'll clean those up repaint in between all the, the individual teeth with a real fine paintbrush we'll restain these with a lighter color and uh, just a little fine detail work and then that one will be done so we'll set you up we'll do a little time lapse here All right, so we got it wrapped. We got the uh, heat gun on there, blew through some holes, added some uh, spray glue and cotton on some of the little tidbits and just dab it on there. And then once we stain over that, do it like on like some of the bare bones, some of the plastic, just run around. I always like to do like around the forehead, I like to do the jaw. You see how the creepy cloth is kind of peeking through there and here and in here and through a little bit in here. I didn't hit it too hard with the heat gun right there, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stain over that. You're going to see through it a little bit, but uh, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and uh, I'm going to come back and hit it with some more stain. Probably give it a little dust with the flat black and then uh and then with the stain and then after that we can start working our way to the uh doing the hair i went ahead and while well, i heated it up i'll roll these gums up so you, you can see those teeth because we're going to go back and make sure those teeth are nice and visible you see how tough that is now with the uh surgical gauze and uh, latex it's a uh, pretty tough so all right let me uh let this set up for a little bit and then i'll bring you back when i do some stain
All right, now after we got the uh, stain on there, we're gonna go ahead and let this dude dry for a couple hours. Um, go ahead and hit him with a little bit uh, lighter stain in some areas and uh, dry him up a little bit longer. Uh, creepy cloth came out pretty good in there. We'll hit it with a little black in some areas where I couldn't get with the brush. That's why it's nice to just have one laying around and you just get in there. Kind of frost it over. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Especially in the kneecaps where a lot of it you can still see it was white. So I went ahead and got in those kneecaps really good. So we're gonna let that guy dry up for a couple hours and go eat lunch and let my phone charge and we'll come back and hit it again. All right, this guy's been drying for about an hour. Still a little tacky, but it's all good because we're about to start doing the hair. I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, gum line, added a little stain to the teeth, uh, make them a little bit more realistic. And off camera, I went ahead and I took those little googly eye uh, eyeball plastics out, cleaned those, and hot glued them in there. I'll go back with some white or yellow uh, paint and just put a little dot in there. Just gives it that, that creepy look. So I'll set you back up, and we're going to start applying some hair. I'm going to use black on this one. I think it'll go better with the uh, skin tone. And... Uh, Let's get it going. All right, before I go ahead and attach that, I went ahead and cut that hair. It was probably about 16 inches long. I went ahead and cut those pieces in half and I got those just laid out. So whenever I'm ready to uh, spray glue and uh, attach them, then they're ready to go. So I'm not fighting, digging for pieces. So just get those little pieces ready so when you go ahead and apply them, these ones are gonna be a little shorter than the one in there. That one's more gonna be like a female. And this is gonna be more like a, a male version. Of, here's gonna be a little longer, but it's, you know, you wanna make them all a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying it. All right, so there you have it. I uh, went ahead and attached the uh, wig hair on there, kind of dusting over it as I go to keep it kind of mashed in there. Um, I went over it with the cotton balls um, wherever I had adhered the hair, uh, especially on top, because you don't want it to come off like in the rain or anything. So I added that uh, cotton balls kind of squished it down with my fingers and then dabbed over it. Well, spray painted it flat black and then uh, dabbed over it with some of the stain. Went ahead and threw some white dots in the eyes just to give it that more sinister look. So now we just gotta wait for him to dry. And I think we're gonna call that one good. So if you guys like the videos, throw me a thumbs up or or subscribe appreciate any uh feedback so uh i think we're gonna call this one good and uh gonna ahead and start on these so i gotta make some room and uh, i got one more coming here this afternoon so got a lot of work to do but appreciate you guys, and uh, thanks for hanging out and doing a little corpse scene, and hopefully y'all learned something. So, we'll see y'all.